Savvy, and today I'm going to be showing you how I make my aprons for my business. If you don't know what my business is, it is called Savvy Chic Shop. It is on Instagram. You can go over on Instagram, type in this, and you can find me. I sell aprons, makeup bags, and dog bandanas, but I'm hoping to add a ton more stuff, and I'm hoping really soon to start an Etsy shop for my business. But today, I'm going to show you how I make my aprons. Um, and yeah, so the first thing I do, I have to wash the fabric. So I did that for these, it just came out of the dryer. With this fabric, I'm making a mother-daughter matching apron set. I love to do those, those are so cute. This is for one of my friends at theater and her mom. And I'm going to show you how I make it. Let's get started. First thing I need to do is cut the fabric. So let me lay it out on the floor, get all my stuff out and do that. I've laid out my fabric. Um, and when you lay out your fabric, you have to fold it and make sure there's a gap at the top so that all the pieces that need cut on the fold or cut two are on the fold. And all the pieces that say cut one are up here. So, now I'm going to get out my sewing box and my pattern. And get started with all this pinning and I will put you on speed mode. Okay, so I've been doing a lot and haven't really been showing you. So let me show you what I've been doing and then I will show you how to do it. Basically, I've just been doing some pinning. So I pinned the big apron piece, which is piece number one in my pattern. And it says cut one on the fold. So as you can see, that means to pin it on the fold. Obviously, so then when it unfolds, it is a full apron. And I added these little things because I make a lot of these. Um, so I've made one of every size and I've had to, um, cut the sizes out. Normally these things would come like attached, but, um, since I've used them, I've cut them up. I have to repin them, um, every time I make one, but th that's probably not going to happen. You just have to get an apron pattern, pin it as instructed, um, on fold as mine says. And then over here, there's this thing called grain line. And then for this one, I have to, it's piece three. It is for the tie end, and it says to cut two, so I pinned it on the, the double layer with a grain line. And then I'm also gonna add a little piece on the end because that makes it longer. So I also have this piece four, which is for the little strap that goes here like that to keep it around your neck. And it says to cut one of those. And then there's this one. This is the pocket. Um, and it says to cut two. So really all you have to do is um, find an apron, any apron pattern 
um, will work. Um, just kind of make sure it's kind of similar to this one. So it's like just a basic apron that uses D-rings and has two pockets. That's pretty much it. If you don't have a pattern, a really long rectangle, cut one. A slightly smaller rectangle, cut one. And then you have to cut this like rectangle shape with like a bite mark in, in the center on the fold. Um, and then you have to have a large square, and this is going to, like, become half the size of this, or I don't even know. It's going to become much smaller than this, so just keep that in mind. And then also a really small square for something else. And once once you guys see what I do with all these pieces, it will probably make more sense, and you'll be able to eyeball it a little bit more if you want to try that. But I don't recommend that if you're a very beginner. Do that if you're, like, a little bit more advanced, I feel like. Because um, even I'm not going to try to do that. And I make these a lot, so. Um, just a note. Now it is time to cut them. And I wanna show you guys something. Look at these. These are these are so sly. Aren't these scissors just like so sly? Okay, so small mistake. Um when I filmed the clip of me cutting the fabric, I accidentally put it in normal speed and not time lapse. So I'm just going to skip that part and we will go to the next part. Okay, so I finished cutting all my pieces for the first apron. And now it is time um, for the second apron. And I really don't feel like taking out all those pattern pieces. Mm, okay, it's time. So basically it's just the same process. The pinning, the cutting, the blah, 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 blah. Hopefully there's no space. Pretty sure there is. Anyways. I'm slow at editing and I suck and I'm very busy 
Um, I'm trying to get better at my YouTube, guys. I'm trying to get better at not watching so much YouTube videos and wasting my time and also doing better at being consistent on YouTube. Sorry about my look right now. Um, I'm sick. It's just the wind and allergies and crap. But, um, my throat hurts and my nose is running. Anyways, not the point. Um, yeah, I'm calling it a three-parter, so that's the end of this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Basically, I'm just doing an outro and I'm talking too much because I always talk too much. Anyways, hope you hope you come back to your favorite brown-haired girl. Crazy-haired girl? Braces girl? I don't know. You'll see me later, and I will see y'all later. And, um, bye, besties. I'm a weirdo. <laughs>